What's up guys? Nate here from BDS Suspension and we're here to talk SEMA. Let's go check out where we're at with our new 2017 Ford F-250. Chad here's been working like crazy and boy you guys have this thing all torn apart don't you? Yeah we got bumpers off, whole front suspension tore apart. Drop the axle down a little bit. Yeah you gotta right. drop it down a little bit. Cool so what are we what are we putting on here for a lift kit? So this will get a new prototype four link suspension uh, benefit of the four link, uh, improved caster change through wheel travel. Okay. It'll actually get a six inch coilover suspension in the end. So, similar to previous gen, we'll get a replacement, lower mount, and okay. upper mount as well. Now, this is the 2017, so it's obviously it's the whole new platform and all that stuff. So, we had to obviously hunker down and actually start designing brand new stuff for this, right? Yep, there's some crossover, but there's a lot of differences as well. Okay. Front drive shaft's different, track bar's different. So. Okay. Well, cool. Um, we're doing. Uh, we're doing a new recoil. Yeah. So if you see in the back, we already have the mounts on on the frame and the axle. Uh, so just waiting. Obviously, you can't have it in with the hoist arm right there. Right. But that'll be going on as well. So for our, our viewers back at home, what exactly is a recoil bar? So as your axle wraps, they see your axle try and walk forward mm -hmm. due to your leaf spring design. So what the, le the recoil bar does is it prevents that. Okay. And there's actually a spring in there with a 3,000 pounds per inch. So to give you an idea, rear leaf spring for a three quarter ton truck is generally 360 pounds per inch. So that spring is really stiff. So it'll prevent that axle from wrapping. But with that spring, it's not a fixed point. So it can allow the rear suspension to still actually travel as it should. That's just brilliant. Plain and simple, I mean, BDS, we're just thinking of everything. So on the 2017s, the front drivetrain's changed up a little bit too, hasn't it? Yep, so we'll check out a couple things on the front end that has changed. Okay. One of the things we noticed changed was this front track bar. So this ball joint style it used to be in the axle, oh. and now it's actually onto the track bar. So a little bit different, doesn't affect actually the geometry because of the track bar drop. Gotcha. But the big change that has happened, the front drive, is actually we went from a normal style um, universal joint to the CV style. So that'll limit how much droop travel you'll get. Yep. So in order to fix that, you'll see between the transfer case and the transmission, there's mm -hmm. a indexing ring. Okay. So that indexing ring turns it down a little bit so you can get more travel out of your front end. So with that, we had to do a different cross member in order to clear, but that way we can get the proper lift that we want, and as well as not having any problems with your front drive. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've snapped CVs with my JKs. I mean, <laughs> just crazy stuff. That's, that's smart thinking to drop it down like that. So, got a lot of stuff to do to get this ready for SEMA, so. Not much time. No. I hear that. Let's go. Soon. All right. We'll get out of your hair. All right, guys. So the engineers are hard at work. Obviously, they, they had to prototype a lift kit just for the 2017 Ford, and it's, it's just taking a little bit of time. So I think in the next day or two, they'll actually have the, the coilovers on there. It'll be looking real mean and stuff. And tune in next week because we're going to be doing a lot of accessory work, and we'll start talking the nitty-gritty on that. Stay tuned.